Hi, I'm Brooke from Teacher Author Design Academy and you're watching a PowerPoint tip video. Let's get into it. Today we're talking PowerPoint hacks. PowerPoint is an amazing tool that I use to create majority of my Teachers Pay Teachers products. Now I've learned a few things along the way. You may be a veteran, you may be a newbie, but I have some tips and tricks to show you and hopefully you'll learn something new. Let's get into it. So the first tip I have for you is to create a quick access toolbar using the tools that you use the most often. So up here you see I have this toolbar that has the features and tools of PowerPoint that I use the most, the arrange tool, the align tool, um, there's the fill lines, the color of fonts and to add things to this toolbar you simply access the feature and you right click and you hit add to quick access toolbar and then it will go up there so I've added format painter I use it a lot let me show you what format painter does so let's say I've created so I've created this board game here using a template from teacher author design Academy and I decided that I actually want all the squares to be green and I want them to be a little bit more thick like that, okay? And then I could go and individually change the formatting of all of these squares to be able to make that possible. Or I can simply select that format painter, which is here under home, double click. And then now when I click my other boxes, they will automatically turn to that formatting. The line is thicker and it is green. Okay, so another feature I wanted to show you is how to create transparent images or backgrounds or text so you might want to put your logo in here and make it a watermark and so therefore you might want it to be grayed out and transparent so let me show you how to do that so I'm going to go to an insert a picture and put my logo in here and you'll see I can't really make it transparent uh, if I go right click format picture and I go to fill or feature features of the picture there's just no way to make it transparent um you'll just have to believe me that there isn't because <laughs> i've looked if there is a way that you know how to make a picture transparent without this hack let me know but i have tried and i just can't find a way so let me show you how to get around that issue so we'll pop this over here instead and now what we're going to do is we're going to insert a shape which we'll do a square and then when we right click go format shape I'm going to choose picture and then I'm going to go to file and I'm going to choose my logo and I'm going to make see there's a line around here we don't want that line and so I'm going to make the line color no line and then I'm going to bring this over here now it's still not transparent so I'm going to resize it and I'm going to go over here back to our format picture option and I'm going to click fill and down here you'll see there's this transparency option I can move it and it makes it transparent. But I also may want it to be grayed out. So I can go to format, I can go to color, and I can choose this, any of these combinations. I choose this one here. And there we go, I have my logo over there uh, and it's transparent and it's a watermark so the people can see what's there but can't access it fully. So you might do that for a preview, okay let's move on okay so another thing that is a cool little keyboard like shortcut is see all these things here you could easily accidentally move them and mess up your your uh your product and so i know that most of you know that you can group things to stop that from happening so if we select everything we went format and we went to group then it would group everything but a cool quick keyboard shortcut is Control g and that will group everything as well but let's say i now want to ungroup everything i go Control shift g and it will ungroup everything so that was Control shift g to ungroup and Control g to group okay now i'm going to show you another hack so if we go to this slide you'll see i have an image here and it has a white background on it and i've made my slide gray just to show you that this has got a white background and you may not want that white background so if we go to format and we go down to color and we hit set transparent color it, oh, sorry, click, yep, there we go. It takes a while sometimes to click in. And then you click on this white here. It's all gone, and now the background is transparent, and um, we can't see it anymore. Okay. Now, the next tip I wanted to show you is uh, how to 
duplicate a slide. Now, if I duplicate, if I was to copy this slide, Control C, and then go Control V, we would create a new slide, but the background wouldn't come with it. Instead, click it and hit Control D for duplicate, and it will duplicate the slide, and your formatting will come with it, with the background. Okay, and now I want to show you how to hyperlink. You may know how to do this, some of you may not, but when you give credit to a clip artist, you need to make sure that you do a hyperlink to their store. So here you'll see if I was to, this this here is hyperlink, so if I was to hold control and click it, it would open this TPTS store, and um, there it is. Okay, so this red pepper logo here I want to hyperlink it so I'm going to split screen and how to do that is I hit the Windows key because I'm on a Windows computer and the left arrow key and then I'm going to oops sorry let me do that again left and then I'm going to find the browser I have open to her website and her TPT store and then I'm going to simply right click and go link and then go over to here and copy in the link over here and paste it here so split screening is super helpful this tip this tip is more to show you how to split screen on a windows computer because you probably already know how to hyperlink but there we go that's now hyperlinked okay now the next thing i wanted to show you is if i wanted to line these all up in a line and what i can do is is i can pick this up here and put it here and i can put this here in here and then I might want to line them all up so I want to make sure that they really are aligned nicely so I could select them all go to format then go to align and go distribute horizontally to the slide I could choose to uh, align the selected objects tops so that they all line up the same so that's just a really helpful way to make sure everything's in a line I might want to move this up and down but I don't want it to be able to move from this point on the page so if I hold down shift and then I click and drag see it won't let me move it sideways I can only move it down and that just keeps it all even okay and then the other thing I wanted to show you is if I wanted to duplicate this picture if I hold down control and shift and then drag it down it creates another one and I can't move it off the grid so that's really helpful for creating those those more aligned features okay we've moved into this document now for the next lot of tips so this is a word search that I've created with a template from teacherauthordesignacademy.com and in this word search I may have realized that I've done this all in little letters but I actually want it to be in big letters or uppercase. So what I can do is I can simply select all my text and go to home. I can go up here and I can go to uppercase and it will save, change it all to uppercase. And there's a bunch of other features under that tab there. There's also lowercase, sentence case, capitalize each word if you want it to be like that. And all those options which can make it really easy as opposed to having to go and replace them all individually okay so I hope you found that helpful uh, did you learn anything new if so let me know in the comments and if there's a feature you can't believe I didn't share also let me know down in the comments or if there's a feature that you just really can't work out if there's something you're wanting to do on PowerPoint and you just can't for the life of you work out how to do it leave that in the comments and we'll see if I can make a video for you that covers that issue if you're interested in any of the templates seen here today, the word search template or the board game template, I have those and a bunch of others coming soon on my website, teacherauthordesignacademy.com. If you're watching this before those go live, find the link in this post to sign up for our newsletter and you'll get emailed with updates of when that will be live otherwise if it's already live you'll find the link to that in this post we also have a free course that will be coming out soon for using powerpoint for beginners as teachers pay teachers sellers so also find a link for that in this post if it's live otherwise you'll find the waitlist sign up so be sure to sign up so you don't miss out it's going to be completely free and full of a bunch of great tips for powerpoint even more than i've shared here even if you're a veteran you might learn something new so sign on up and we'll talk soon all right then enjoy the rest of your day bye did you find that helpful do you want to see more 
Check us out on social media at Teacher Author Design Academy. We also have a free course coming out, a beginner's guide to using PowerPoint to make quality resources to sell online. Check out the link in this post for more information. Bye!